Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, guys. Um, this is um today's date. Subhanallah, 14th of April, 2018. Now, what you're going to see on the right hand side of the sun is a spherical object. Subhanallah. Around about between half four, five o'clock ish of the sun. I'll provide a link uh, to you guys as well with this particular vlog. This is today's date, by the way. Okay when it was caught on the 14th of April, right, at um, 8.41. So it wasn't so long ago, it's just 41 minutes ago. You can see as we zoom in onto it, there you go. Yeah, and it seems to be siphoning, like I've always mentioned that there's these celestial bodies, can you see almost like a tornado coming out and touching this other spherical object? Well, this spherical object seems to be a stellar core. A stellar core would be a burnt out star okay and um, what it's doing it's interacting with our Sun and draining it of its uh, surface energy which is what we see here with these canyons that are forming on the surface of the Sun and this is why I continue to maintain that they are using a solar Sun simulator which is um, above our atmosphere um, orbiting um, in line with the Sun in a heliosynchronous orbit that light false light as it were a flood lamp compensates for <coughs> uh, the Sun's dimming color which often we've seen where people have actually caught two celestial bodies in the heavens one seemingly our Sun and another one is a dimmer version of it the dimmer version is here is our actual Sun that's being caught subhanallah every now and then the system has imperfections and um, it moves away from its um, alignment with the Sun so it's in front of the Sun above our atmosphere and then they have these other lensing systems above our atmosphere as well which help to manipulate um, even magnify just like we use magnifying glasses to concentrate the Sun's at least I remember doing it myself when I was a kid where you use the light of the sun to burn something on the ground, right? Using a magnifying glass. And subhanAllah, I'm sure our beloved Lord Maikram uh, will be familiar with that as well. It's very similar. They've got these other lensing systems, which are caught on several occasions by, um, on, on um, uh, goodness me, uh, above our atmosphere. In fact, let me very quickly show you guys exactly what I mean, and you'll see where we're going with this. Um, uh, just... Uh, Here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go to this guy. Just very recently, <clears throat> we caught this anomaly, um, which was very interesting above our atmosphere. Um, rare phenomena, flux rock like, okay, radiation changes. That's not it. Video of something, okay, that's not it neither. Um, it's probably this one. Let's just have a very quick look at it and see where it takes us. Um, as a seasoned photographer, she noticed this very unusual. This is it. So I want you guys to watch this, please. Glitch in the sky as she was taking a video back on the 8th. And this is the glitch. I've already shared this one with you. It was right there. And she was just very puzzled when that happened. First of all, this arc that's in the sky, she's never seen that. That thing right there, like there. there, there you go. Well, it's hard to stop, but I've showed you guys this before. Right, there. right. You see that? That's a lensing system. So they've got these sort of lenses above our atmosphere. Every now and then, uh, they're caught by the camera, but not necessarily the naked eye, right? And the edge of it, the surface, the edge of this lensing system is lit up by the light <coughs> of the solar sun simulator so you can we catch it out now that alongside a, a video that I'm going to share with you guys which is again from today as well subhanallah which shows these other celestial bodies I believe and understand that the Najmu Thakib star system which seems to be a neutron star a very dense a very bright star but small and that star has other stellar cores accompanying it and other celestial bodies, gas giants, planets, uh, and asteroid debris, um, uh, 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 and um, has merged with our solar system, 
uh, from an elliptical orbit. It's here, other celestial bodies are here, they're wreaking havoc on our sun and also causing a lot of problems uh, uh, seismically and climatically back here on the ground on Earth as well, subhanAllah. Uh, and um, this is why we've seen so many anomalies as well, climatically, uh, seismically, and then there's so many other things that have been happening and then you see all the chemtrails as well. We've talked about this at Dorsium anyway, but I thought I'd touch base on it simply because we just had, just right now, another revelation which is again just more evidence uh, to be honest uh, just a nail in the coffin uh, I, I, like I said it's today you can't get away from it just um, a few minutes ago where this celestial body <coughs> was found next to our Sun so they do try to hide it every so often NASA does but um, sometimes it slips through the cracks and um, subhanAllah avid researchers will uh, are keeping a very keen eye on events as they unfold catch these things out subhanallah uh, and uh, alhamdulillah we try to mashallah draw our beloved ulama ikram's attention to all these things and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best anyway i'm going to post another video alongside this so please continue watching to the end jazakallah khair wa asalam jazakallah wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please continue watching inshallah assalamu alaikum